let's summarise the main learning points we've covered this week. If you find that you're suddenly faced with having to read something, our tip is to take a moment to look for words that you're familiar with. Very often, reading just a few key words will give you enough information to understand the gist of it, so don't be put off and have a go. You could also bring the leaflet home and read it in your own time. Now, this one I had, because it's two words, I had difficulties with this one, uh, and you were telling me how to break it down. It's P-L-Y... W-O-O-D-S, ply wood. Long words are often made up of two short words, such as wallboard or plywood. Take Maria's advice and break the word down. Wall and board, ply and wood. And watch out for the familiar part of the word, and then you just have to deal with the new part. If you want to improve your handwriting, Practice writing simple sentences. Take a word you know well and practice making up different sentences around the word. Take Ernie's example. He wrote three bags of cement. He could also have written cement comes in bags. And remember, you don't always have to write numbers out in words. You can write them as figures instead. Why not start your own personal dictionary? It's a great way to learn new words. You can use it to check your spelling. And it also helps you to start thinking about words in alphabetical order.